Hey guys, Darren from Aaron's Outdoor, and here's another Florida video. I'm out here with John from uh, Creek Fishing Adventures. This is my first day in Florida. This is just kind of the second half of the first day, so just caught a big fish. If you haven't seen the, my past video, make sure to go check that out. Caught like a four and a half pound largemouth and some other fish too. So I think I'm gonna stick with the Nico Helgramite because that's what's been working. Then I might switch to uh, Berkeley Chapo before it gets dark here and try to get some uh, more topwater fish. So make sure to stay tuned. Hopefully we can get a good another good largemouth. That'd be nice or some uh, Swanee bass, which is kind of the rare species of black bass that uh, lives down in this river. So anyway, make sure to stay tuned and hopefully I'll be on some more fish. Oh, got one. Little bass. Ah, all right. Well, this is the first fish I've caught in I don't even know how long. It's another Swanee bass. I, I think it's the third one I've caught today. Yeah. And uh, definitely the smallest one, but I'll take it. It's been a while since I've caught something. We're almost to the end. We've got maybe half a mile left. And usually, like last year, this stretch was pretty good. So hopefully, this won't be the last fish of the day. Anyway, I'll let that guy go. The fish, not the best hook set. Seems decent. Ooh, nice swanee bass. Not a bad swanee bass. Oh, come on. Dude, not a bad swanee bass. Could it be another 14 incher? I don't think so. All right, well, there's another Swanee bass just a few minutes later. Hadn't caught a fish in well over an hour and just caught two kind of within five minutes of each other. It's weird how that happens sometimes. So this is another nice Swanee bass. You know, I don't think he's 14 because that other one was just barely 14, and this guy's definitely smaller than that one. But definitely over a pound, another solid little fish there. He was like 13.75, maybe 14. I kind of just took a couple pictures of him on the board, but... There he goes. There's one. Little bass. Little largemouth, I think. Yeah. Oh wait, no, this, this is a swanee, I think. I can't tell. Yeah, that's a little swanee bass. It looks a lot like a largemouth. I'm... Yeah, it's a swanee bass. It's got that little kind of colored eye, so. Yep, looks like a swanee bass. I'll take it, got three in a row now. There's a fish right next to this cover. Another little bass. This one is actually a largemouth. All the largemouths seem to be uh, skinnier than the swanee bass see that one's a, pretty obviously a largemouth some of them like you know some of the largemouth are so dark that they kind of look like swannies like that last one almost looked like a largemouth but i could kind of tell by his eyes and stuff that it was a swanee and today is my last day down here in north florida just got done fishing with a little lure caught a bunch of little fish uh, mainly panfish but now i kind of want to go after some bass before i have to drive up today so I think I'm just going to stick to the Nico Helgramite. That was my best lure the past two days. Um, and it caught me a four and a half pounder two days ago. So I'd love to get another 14 inch Swanee bass because that uh, you can get a little Florida big catch certificate. If you catch a Swanee bass that's 14 inches or bigger, large mouth has to be 24 inches. So that would be huge. I doubt I'll get that, but uh, I'm going to at least try to get another Swanee bass that's 14 and just hopefully catch a good bit more bass on that uh, Nico Helgramite. There's a fish. Oh my gosh, no pressure on him, but I got him in here. Sometimes when you hook set and then like, there's no pressure on him, they get off real easily. Cool little largemouth. It's almost like he has like horizontal bars, but he's definitely a largemouth. I don't know. It's in that's interesting. Or it's just like a fat lateral line. There's a fish. Ooh, what is it? I think it's a swanee bass. Yeah, a little swanee bass. Two little tiny bass to start off the day. You know, of course I hope I catch them bigger than this, which 
If I catch a bunch of bass, I'm sure I'll catch some bigger. I think these fish are just right up next to wood. It's kind of what we figured out yesterday. Um, that guy was just like right under that log over there. There's a fish right off this tree. Better than those other two we caught at least. Don't know if he's a largemouth or a swanee yet. Largemouth, all right. Ooh, and he kinda, he inhaled that Helgramite, look at that. He definitely wanted it. Hopefully I can get it out fairly easily. Uh, you know, nothing big, 12 and a half, maybe 13 incher. But a lot better than the, the other two we caught. All right, probably like a 13 inch bass. So I'll let that guy go. Something's got it, I think. Yep, another one off the tree. Oh, and he came off. It's probably another largemouth. There's one. Ugh. Dude, I keep losing them. What happens is they're so small and I hook set and then I hook set so hard that there's no tension on them and they just come off. But I don't know, maybe if I hook set even harder, they just actually get hooked. Yeah, that guy didn't really get hooked. Oh, fish. Oh gosh, my paddle, my paddle. There we go. Ah. Well, I caught, a, I caught one, missed a couple, and then caught another one. So there's definitely a bunch in this tree. That one, I barely got in the boat. He just kind of flopped in the boat there. I'll take him, little nine, 10 inch large mouth. There's one, ooh, I think that's a swanee bass maybe. All right, there's a little swanee bass under that tree. So this is the fifth fish I've hooked into under this tree. They definitely seem to be just like loaded up here. Obviously nothing too big yet, but I'll take it. fish. Oop. There he is. Holy cow, he's tiny. For a second I thought I didn't even have a fish. I thought I hook set it into a tree, but it was a fish. He just got stuck in the tree. And then he ended up being another tiny bass. Okay, so this is, how many is this? Four bass that I've actually caught under this tree? There's got to be so many under there. I don't know if there's going to be a bigger one, hopefully. There's a fish underneath this tree. Oh, wow, I barely got him in. All right, nothing big so far. I mean, just a bunch of little bass. Like, there's so many bass in this river. There's definitely some giants, but there's definitely a lot of small ones too. So I've been casting on this tree a bunch, actually. Finally just got one off of it. It's another just giant tree. And since we got like four from that other tree, I thought there had to be some under here. I mean, I know there's more under there, so I'm gonna keep casting at it. Oh, there is a fish. I thought I had one on a second ago. Oh my gosh, I've lost so many. It's just like when I hook set and I, they start jumping, I know all the tension is off. There's another one. Don't come off. It's small. Man, it's small. Oh. Dude, I don't know what is going on today. Like, like this Nico Helgeran, I mean, you know, I've caught some big fish on it. Like I said, I caught a four and a half pounder two days ago out of the same river, but today they're just tiny. I mean, like I'm fishing the spots that should have bass. They have bass, they're just not big. I am off the water now. Originally I was considering fishing until dark. It's only about two o'clock, but after three days of fishing, three kind of long days of fishing, I'm just kind of worn out. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and start heading home just because I don't know, I'm tired and then I'll won't be getting home too late but uh overall this trip was definitely really fun down here in florida you know i was fishing the santa fe river for three days 
it's just a really unique river. It's got all these like super clear springs in it. And the river itself is super clear. It's just got a black bottom most of the way. So it's kind of, it looks like it's not clear because of the black bottom, but you can see straight to the bottom uh, in the spots where there's a little bit of sand. But I uh, caught a bunch of little bass today. You know, I'll take it. Yesterday, I only caught four total fish. Today, I, you know, kind of filmed two videos, but I caught almost, almost 20 probably, even though they were all really small. And I think there's definitely a good chance I will be coming back here next year. I mean, I came here last year, caught a giant largemouth then, caught a giant largemouth this trip as well. Also caught my first ever pickerel this trip and got another Swanee bass that was 14 inches, which qualifies for a little Florida Big Catch certificate. And that pickerel I caught was 23 inches in it, and if it's over 22, it gets a certificate too. So I got two certificates this year, which is pretty cool. Caught a bunch of fish, you know, can't really complain. So anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, but I'll catch you all on that next video. Thanks for watching.